Hi everyone, it's the goal again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> so today, Saturday, what does that mean? Saturday sip and chat. Okay. I brought out my Princess Bell mug that I only use this month for Saturday sip and chat. I have my old faithful uh, Diamondique uh, ring. And um, I got to update you on my clattering. Okay, I'm going to update you with clattering. Lots to talk about. And then my second video is my video tag that I got tagged in. Um, so thank you, Mo uh, Nose Beauty, uh, for tagging me in uh, what bag I can't live without. So I will be doing that separately. So let's get into it really quick. Um, I don't want this to be very long. So, okay, so update on my clattering. All right, so supposedly went out to be repaired. So they tried calling Jimmy Wednesday. And he didn't answer because they probably went into junk call. Like, a, you know, when you get those junk phone calls, he probably thought it was one of those. So I called yesterday and they said, well, you know, we called on Wednesday. To, you know, we, we have to replace the stones. And, um, you know, we just want to know what the birth zones were which should have already been on the sheet when the, you know, when Jimmy ordered it. But anyway, so I told them and they're sending it out Monday. So it might be another couple weeks for me to get the clattering. Just annoyed. <laughs> Not at Jimmy, but at the people at K Jewelers. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. That's okay. It's getting fixed. I am grateful. I'm not going to, you know, you know, I was very nice talking to them yesterday. So. And they're, you know, they're very apologetic. So I, I don't like to be when I have to call and complain about something. I don't like to be nasty. Does it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. It could be just like a little misunderstanding, you know, and as long as they're willing to fix it, it's fine. Anyway, so that's the update in that. It won't be for a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so I'm in. This is my Otterbox Symmetry Series Pop Socket case. Um... I'm in this case because the one that I had before, guess what? I have the worst luck with phone cases. Worst luck with phone cases. I was rushing out of work on Thursday, texting Jimmy like I'm leaving work. It slipped out of my hand and it cracked like this side. So, I'm using this one. So, I had brought... Um, crap, I forgot to bring it up. But anyway, I, I used another phone case. And it was like this black marble case from Otterbox. Also a Symmetry Series. I'm like, you know what, I'll just leave that there. And so I just used that there. I used it yesterday. And then when I came here, I switched out. And this is my summer phone case. I'm a freak. <laughs> And I like to switch out phone cases, so, and I don't want to use a lot of phone cases either, so I, I have otter boxes um, for every season. Who does that? I do. Because I'm a freak, and I'm just... <laughs> anyway, so, I'm liking this. Like the situation. All right. I, before I get into these bags here, okay, um, well, before I get into this, uh, you know, I'll talk about this first. So, I am sending out my domed satchel today. 
to be fixed. The yellow, it was yellowing in the front pocket. And there's scuff marks on the back. Um, I have decided if they can't fix it, and either A, if they send that back to me, I am selling that bag. Sorry. Um, and if they give me money towards it, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can finally get my um, Florentine satchel. Hoping. If not, I have another bag that I was like, I was just looking at it and I'm like, you know what? This is really cute and I have nothing like this in my collection. And it is a beautiful color that, I mean, it, it was in, it's in several colors. And I'm like, wow, this is really cute. <laughs> so, you want to see? Mm. Sorry. I get up at 6.30, you guys. Why? I don't know. But anyway. Um, this one I was looking at. I was either looking at this one or the drawstring, but I was looking at this one. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of a drawstring bag, and I have one, you know, and it's the nylon one, and I love it because... I don't know. Like, I have a love-hate relationship with drawstring bags. Um, I just don't really like, like the long, I don't know. The longer, um, when you put it over the shoulder. Like, I like wearing my drawstring bag crossbody. And that's why I like the nylon one. Anyway. Okay, so. I saw this bag. And I was like, this is so cute. Then I need your help on what wallet, because you know, I'm matchy matchy. And that's what also we're gonna talk a little bit, a little bit about um, with matching matching accessories. I'm a freak and I have to have matching accessories. <laughs> like. I have to have a Dooney and Burke designated for every month or a phone case that designated for every season. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little wackadoo sometimes. But this is the bag. It is called the Monogram Handle Tote. She is a beaut, and it's the color wine. I like the brown Timoro, um, but I like the chestnut more brown and... Um, and they had also, what is the other color that I was looking at? The jeans. But I was liking this one. I was like, oh, this is pretty. I picked this one too because it has the most matching wallets. I at least have to match my wallets. I'm not a total freak that I have to match every little accessory. But I at least need the wallet to match because I'm a freak. So this is the um, the first wallet I was looking at was the monogram. I need your help. So this is I have three wallets, and I want your opinion on which do you think will look better or fit better in that bag if I decide to get this bag. All right. So this is the monogram flap wallet. Right there. And I'll tell you which one that I would be thinking of. And this is the Monogram Continental Clutch. Always love these. Um, and then the Monogram Large Dipper on Wristlet. So which one do you think? I'm kind of down to either the Continental Clutch or the Zipper on Wristlet. But if this bag I mean, it's, I mean, it looks like really tall, so I think, I don't know, I, I, I like you can wear it like two ways at least. You know, I like that. Um, yeah, so 
Then I wanted to show you. Um, I'll get. I'll try. I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video which Florentine satchel I would choose. That I I have chosen the one that I want, which I think I'm going to get. Depending on how my um, money situation is, you know, with working still part time, it's, it'll be kind of hard. But anyway, but I am going to get it. So memories on Facebook. Now, before Jimmy, I would whenever Judy and Burke was on, like that was my Saturdays or Sunday uh, activity. You know, of course, I'd watch movies and whatever was on TV. But I always watched every single Dooney and Burke show that ever was on QVC. I watched it. I recorded it and watched it. Um, or watched it live, depending on if it was up. Um, and what I used to do was I would get the bag that I was in or even like a smaller bag. And I would have my little water drink. I would have a little snack with it. And I'm going to show you a little picture of how I used to watch my Judy and Burke shows. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I would have that. <laughs> the Reese, I would have like Reese's Pieces or whatever kind of candy. Um, and then my little water bottle. I don't have that water bottle anymore, but, and I haven't had Reese's Pieces in a long time, but, and I had this bag in bone. Remember? And I sold it. There you go. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyway. All right. Because I don't want to make this too, too long. We're going to get into my Key Lime, my Junior Burke Key Lime collection. I used to have three. Now I have two. I gave, I had a, a, the Nylon Ginger Pouchette in Key Lime, and I gave it to a friend of mine. And she had, because she loved the color. She fell in love with the color, and, you know, she helped me out a lot. So, just by being a good friend. Okay. You saw this one. This is my bag of the day. Um, just carrying this today. This is my uh, Bitsy Barlow and Safiana Leather in King Line. In five feet. I mean, you saw this last week, but I'll show you again. Five feet on the bottom. You have crossbody strap on this. Uh, in here you have this is my favorite silhouette Junie Burke has ever made just love it the middle part may not be as big for people but the organization of this particular silhouette is just amazing all right so you have a pocket here and this may not be a big bag, but you can fit a lot in here. Like I could probably, my phone fits in here. And this is the biggest phone, okay? And you still have more room. Okay. Then you have this back pocket. This is a little, like, showy what I have in it. Okay, and then in the back, I just have the you know, back pocket. And I just have my little air buds. Look how much room you have in both pockets. Not that I'm going to really need this today, but then you get to the middle part. And this, it's stuffed, but it's a lot. And you have your slip pocket there, which I have my. 
tissues, and then you have a zipper pocket in the zipper pocket pocket zipper pocket in the back, and it has my mask. I mean, this one doesn't have as much organization as the bigger ones, but yeah. I love this. Then I have my wallet, hand sanitizer. I have the, the little wristlet that came with my umbrella, which I have cash, and then I have my Montego cosmetic case. I'm going to do mod shots for you for this. Then we're gonna go to this next bag. Okay. <clears throat> oh. I know you guys are curious to see what um, <clears throat> what Florentine satchel I would be choosing. You have this, as you can carry a crook of the arm. You can carry it crossbody, which I am doing it today. I'm carrying it just like this, and I didn't really stuff her. If you're gonna carry this crossbody, don't stuff it because if you're because it's just gonna get heavy, and with these thin straps that I can't stand, it kind of weighs you down. So if you're gonna wear this kind of bag, any kind of leather bag from Dooney and Burke with these thin straps, pack light. Even if you can pack more, like there's more room, don't. Okay? Or you can do this. I know I showed it to you last week, but I show it to you again. Why not? Why not? We'll just that's the shortest setting. And you can even keep it like that and carry it like that. Or you can take it off and put it inside the bag like this. And I'm going to show you a different way that you can wear it. Okay, so we're going to put these straps back on. Yeah, this might be a long video, guys. <laughs> Okay, so, you see these handles? What is awesome about these bags is you don't pack them a lot. You tuck them in like that. And if the handles bother you, you can just do this. So you can really wear this kind of silhouette five ways, five ways. So now I'm gonna show you how to put back the crossbody strap because I'm going to be wearing a crossbody today. We have a lot of errands to do. We're going to spend the afternoon together. We're going to go to uh, David Buster's, play some games, just have a little fun. I think I'm third, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And this is the fifth way that you can wear it. Judy needs to get on their strap game, or you can carry it like this. But I don't mind the handles, so I don't usually carry it like that. But no, I think I had it. And also, too, with the strap adjustments, let me try this one. This has to be. No, it's not good enough. Not good enough, sorry. Actually, I'll try this one. I forgot when I had on it. Yep. <clears throat> the 
depending on what accessories you have too. You do the adjustments. Okay. Yep, this is good. Okay. All right, that's my first key lime bag. And that actually was my first key lime bag. And then, as I told you, I saw this one on QVC. <laughs> was not paying three hundred seventy-six. Waited it to go and waited. I waited for it to go on clearance. If you're not familiar, QVC does that when they're kind of pushing, you know, retiring the um, type of bag. So the second one I have is the um, <clears throat> Brana. The strap that I have on it is not what came with the, the bag. This, um, the strap that came with this bag also has, um, you can also do the same thing like that one. You can wear it five different ways when you have the uh, crossbody strap on it. But this bag is literally way too heavy for a crossbody bag. Do not recommend it. <laughs> Hence why I put this one on there. You have, just going to show you real quick. I mean, look how organized that is. Look how much room you have. And then I'll just give you a peek. You have, you know, paper pockets, a pocket, two pockets here, and all that room. Do mod shot. Ask you guys a question and then I'll let you know what my you can wear this bag three well you can wear it five different ways if you had the crossbody strap but I don't use it for this so I can wear this three different ways you have the crook of the arm which is my favorite okay you have Like that, which is over the shoulder, or if the handles bother you, you can go like this. There you go. And this is my key lime collection. And this is the bag I'm carrying today, just for today. And then I will switch after my, my errands. I will come and switch back. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, I have a question for you guys now. Matching accessories. I want to ask my subscribers. My friends, do you need to match your accessories to the handbag you're in? Does it have to be all matching accessories or can it just be the wallet? If you can tell by this, I'm a matchy-matchy girl. That's why I could, because a lot of people can, a lot of women can just use one specific wallet for several bags. And that's, I give you guys credit because I can't do that. I have to have matching accessories, maybe not every single matching accessory, at least the wallet. At least the wallet. Just, you know, like, it's it's a little nuts, okay? It's a little nuts out, but yeah. At, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Where did that come from? Ooh, it's me. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, I have to match. 
So I want to know if you guys, if you have to match your accessories to the handbag you're in, either answer is, is, is good. Either answer is fine. You know, I give the people credit who just use one wallet and you don't like to switch out your wallet, but we'll switch out the handbags. <laughs> Because I have to be anal, and I have to be a pain in the ass, and I have to be like, things need to match. <laughs> I am not happy. And it doesn't feel right when I don't have matching accessories. <sighs> I don't know if that's part of being a, you know, a handbag holic. Um, or just, I just, it just makes me happy. Uh, to match so yeah and I'm the same freak that has to have a phone case for every season this is my summer one my summer because I just love how this shimmers when the sun is out and the sun in the summer is just the brightest oh it is just so cute anyway all right so final thing The Florentine satchel that I chose, that I just was like, I need this one. And I picked out a color as well. So I was re-watching the Dooney and Burke clearance show that was on KBC. And they had one, I think it was this one Florentine bag, but it was a smaller bag. But they had it in, the, in like four colors and I saw this specific color I used to have a Florentine bag in this color and I sold it and I regret selling it not because of the bag but because of the color of the bag just the combination of these colors and how vibrant and how like luxurious this color is in Florentine I like the other color that I liked, but mm, this one. All right, so I'll show you the bag. This is the Florentine Mini Satchel in Navy. I don't know what it is. I have mostly blue bags in my collection. I don't know what it is about Navy or Midnight Blue or if just the blue color. I just... It is just fabulous. And I like the mini satchel. I don't know. It just looks like more east-west. And because of the mouth and like the opening is not big, I think this will work well for me. Because the, the mouth seems to be a little bigger. Then, and if I wanted to wear it crossbody, which I probably will not, this will be like a straight satchel bag for me. I was, Jimmy was making me my eggs this morning and I was waiting for my toast to heat up, but to toast and um, my bread to toast. <laughs> Um, I was looking and I'm like, this is just ugh, amazing. I don't know. I like the mini satchel better. I feel like so. Yeah. And Navy. All right, this is long enough. <laughs> so um, thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> I appreciate you all. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It is definitely entertainment sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I, if you love handbags, please subscribe because you're gonna love this channel. 
and I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.